Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Aaron, with Evolution Daily, and it is currently 6.09 a.m. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's 6.09 in the morning here in the United States of America. And I woke up a couple of hours ago at around 4 a.m. And I started to have bad thoughts. And maybe you guys have experienced this. I've talked to a lot of people who have experienced this where you wake up in the middle of the night and you just start having this negative thought loop of ideas that everything isn't gonna work out for you, that things are just in turmoil, that there's chaos ensuing, and that there's nothing you can do about it. And I've had those ever since I can remember. Honestly, they've really went away massively from cutting out drinking. Over the last year, I have actually been completely sober. Um, here in a couple of days, it'll be exactly 365 days, and I'm gonna make a video about that. But I remember this sort of thing happening to me, me waking up in the middle the night kind of having like anxiety attacks essentially and I remember that happening a lot when I was drinking and not so much anymore but it does still happen and it happened to me earlier today and you know just a couple of hours ago I would never normally be up right now 6 a.m. whatever and what happened was I remembered something that I heard from Tony Robbins and Tony Robbins, he talks about how every single day of his life, he does a gratitude challenge, essentially, where he takes about three minutes of his day and he thinks about the things that he's grateful for in his life. And this is something that I've been doing myself recently, never to actually fight off any kind of an anxiety attack, never to really fight off any sort of demons that I'm experiencing or wrestling with or anything like that. I've just been doing it recently and it's made me feel really good, but this is the first time that I've really applied it to a situation where I felt like I needed to escape the negativity in my brain. And so what it is is it's basically you sit there and you sit in silence and you think and you say out loud all of the different things that you're grateful for in your life. Now, maybe your life at this very moment isn't the best. Maybe you've got a situation pressing that's stressing you out, that's got you in a position where maybe you have to work a job that you don't want to and it's just to afford taking care of the situation. I, I get it. I get it. I've been there. I've been through hell and I've escaped it. And I'm on the other side. But you can find things that you should ultimately be grateful for. Gary Vaynerchuk is in the process of writing a book right now. And the book, the idea of the book is basically that the reason why he thinks that, uh, that he attributes a major portion of his success that he's had in business is because he was an immigrant. He is an immigrant. He came from um, the Soviet Union. You know, uh, him and his, his, his parents fled to the United States as refugees. And he talks about how because of that, the opportunity of America has been greatly instilled into him, you know, by his father who came here and hustled his way up to becoming an entrepreneur where he started his own liquor store, things like that. And so I think that there's, there's a lot of different things that you personally, you watching this video right now, you have to be grateful for, whether it's that you're in good health, maybe you're in a career that you enjoy, or you're working on a business that you love. That's my case with Evolution Daily. I am so, so grateful to have gotten to a place where I'm able to run Evolution Daily full time and put every moment of my day into my passion and growing my own dream. And not only that, but putting my thoughts into it. You know, I was at a position where I had been growing Evolution Daily for a little while and I ended up taking a job working for a much larger dating company. Maybe some of you guys are aware of that. Maybe you've seen my videos over on that channel. I don't know. But either way, there was always this constant this, this sort of emptiness in my brain where, you know, in my heart really, where 
it's like I was I was learning a lot of different things about internet marketing and I was learning about how to grow a business and all these different things. And whereas, you know, in the prior months, I would think about that and I would be able to apply these new ideas and these new concepts and these courses and things to growing my dream, my love, my passion, my baby, Evolution Daily. I, I would learn these things and I just, I wasn't as inspired by them. I wasn't as motivated by them because I was growing somebody else's dream. And so one of the things that I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful for is Evolution Daily. And not only that, but I'm incredible for you guys, people who reach out to me via email, you know, in the YouTube comments, on my Facebook group. And, you know, you tell me these things where, you know, I had a guy email me recently and maybe you've heard me talk about this in a couple of videos because I'm just, I'm so blown away by this. But he told me that he found my video completely randomly while falling down the rabbit hole of YouTube and that he didn't even know that cold approach existed he didn't know that pickup existed that people were out doing this and I have a very similar story to that and he hit me up and he said hey man I've been watching your videos for a while and I want to make my first cold approach what advice would you give me and I gave him some really sound advice I told him I said listen man it's probably not gonna go well, or it might be the best interaction of your entire life. Either way, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you do it. And I gave him a really solid opener to go in with, and he ended up emailing me back um, about a week later telling me that he made his first cold approach, and that from there, he couldn't stop. And he kept making cold approaches. He kept making cold approaches. He got some girls' phone numbers, and he'd been on multiple dates, and that he really, really likes one of the girls. And that email, was so fulfilling for me. I mean, it, it was just massively, and I'm not here to sit here and say to you guys, you know, I my, my greatest joy in this world is helping others, and I don't care about money, and I don't care about myself, and it's all about contribution. Do I feel that way? Yes, a lot of the time, but I think it's just overly done. It's overly cliche, and I'm not going to rant to you about how my greatest passion is helping you. I'm just, I'm not going to go on that rant. But I have massive, massive gratitude for that kid and the fact that he is now going to turn his life around. He had a very similar story to me about how he fucking sucked with women. He was very lonely. And now my videos have helped him to completely fucking turn it around. And he's now like emailing me like kind of like updates, you know, things like that. I'm in email correspondence with him. Uh, if you guys ever want to email me anything, it's Aaron at evolutiondaily.com. But back to the original point of this video, which is... Just the fact that about two, now about two hours and 16 minutes ago, it was around 4 a.m., it's 6, 16 a.m. right now, Eastern Standard Time, United States. I woke up and I had one of these bullshit fucking panic attacks where I start just fucking thinking horrible shit. I start thinking about how the girls in my life that I really care about, they're going to leave me behind, they're going to leave me in the dust. And what if I can't find girls that are as good of quality? I started thinking about what if Evolution Daily doesn't make it? Then what the fuck am I going to do? How am I going to take care of my family? You know, all these different things. And I just start having really negative, self-doubting, negative, awful fucking thought loops. It's fucking hell. And I sat there and I thought about this gratitude, um, uh, this, this gratitude sort of exercise that I've been doing lately from Tony Robbins. And I sat up in my bed. I turned my light on. I sat there in silence and I did a little bit of a breathing exercise that I like to do um, and you know actually maybe I'll just cover that in this video as well here in a second but I did this little breathing exercise that I like to do and then I said out loud all the different things that I'm grateful for I'm grateful to have a family that loves me I'm grateful to have a loyal fan base here on YouTube and in my Facebook group that loves the content that I put out you should create art for art's sake but it also really really means a lot when you receive appreciation and when you receive appreciation you should be giving it back and I thought about how I'm thankful for my little brother and, and you know how much I care about him and the great fucking friends that I have in my life and the great girls that I have in my life and the health that I have in my life and I'm grateful for coffee. I'm grateful for having the ability to access really great food at a moment's notice. I can fucking pick up my cell phone and order. I can get some, like right now, I can have delicious sustenance delivered to me to make my brain and my body function and work. And for me to be able to function through and succeed in this world, I can run down the store, I can get fucking green food, I can get clean fucking protein, I can just go get shit compared to people in the, in the United States, around the world definitely, but even in the United States who they don't even have that access. They're fucking homeless and they just, they, 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 they can't do it. They just, they don't have the access to these things. And I'm incredibly grateful for that. And I just 
it means so much to me to be able to have all these great things in my life and I never, ever, ever take any of it for granted. Yes, every once in a while will I have a moment of weakness where I just, I'm fucking bitching about some stupid shit that I shouldn't be bitching about. Yes, absolutely, 100%. But it's that age old saying, it's not about how many times you fall off the horse, it's about how many times you get back on. And that is the truth. And I talk about that a lot because if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, then you know I have suffered with massive amounts of depression and really bad anxiety, both social anxiety and just generalized anxiety, things like that. And the fact of the matter is that doesn't go away. It does not go away. It'll, it'll always somewhat be there, but it's about how you handle it when it comes your way, when it shows its ugly face and it sticks its face in yours and you say, Fuck you, motherfucker, and you slay that goddamn dragon. That's what really fucking matters. And so this gratitude exercise that I've learned from Tony Robbins has really changed everything. And so now, I mean, you know, I guess what I'll do if you guys really care to keep watching is I'll kind of just break down a breathing exercise that's actually changed my life forever. And I will sort of... Uh, give a brief explanation. So I discovered it back when I was doing stand-up comedy. And when I was doing stand-up comedy, I have had a, uh, I had a really bad panic attack once while public speaking. And that actually um, prolonged the amount of time that I waited to actually do stand-up comedy because I'd wanted to do it for a long time. And then I had this bad panic attack while public speaking. And it, I'll get into that in another video. It was really, really rough. It was at Ohio State University giving a public speech. And you know, I just freaked the fuck out. I had to leave the room. It was this whole thing. But I wanted to do stand-up comedy really bad. And so I looked up a ways to combat stage fright. Because for a little while there, every single time I was doing stand-up comedy, I was essentially having a panic attack on stage and just kind of like trying to like spew out my words as easily as like or as much as I possibly could. And so I looked up this breathing exercise. And um, well, I looked up how to combat stage fright and anxiety on stage, things like that. And I found the breathing exercise. And what it is, is it's something that I've done. Now I just do it all the time anyways. A lot of the times I'll just be sitting there watching a movie and I do it because it just feels good. I'll do it um, when I am having anxiety, just all these different things. So here's the breathing exercise. So what you do is you breathe in as deeply as you possibly can through your nose for, you know, just as deeply as you possibly can. You keep the tip of your tongue in the back of your, your top teeth and you breathe in as deep as you can and you hold it for seven seconds and then you exhale for eight. And I'm talking about long seconds and you do that three times. So I'm just gonna do it one time because I'm not gonna sit here and fucking breathe on this thing. So. So you guys get the idea. You do that three times. You breathe in as hard as you possibly can, and then you hold it for seven long seconds. I'm talking about seven Mississippi seconds, and then you exhale for eight Mississippi seconds. Now, by the time that you've exhaled, by the end of that eight seconds, you should be to the point where like you're like about to like fucking like, you're like, Ugh. And then that deep breath that you do feels really fucking good. And what that does is that immediately, like you can't help, like you have no say in the matter. It slows your heart rate. And that's really what anxiety is. I once heard that emotions are the body's physical response to your thoughts. And so anxiety can essentially be, um, you know, described as an an emotion, really, if you think about it, it is your body's physical reaction to your negative thoughts. And so, or, or positive thoughts as well, you know, I mean, uh, butterflies and things like that, you know, I'm so in love, uh, it feels good, you know, stuff like that. So um, I just wanted to really make this video and explain to you guys the gratitude challenge uh, or gratitude exercise, really, that Tony Robbins breaks down. I've, I, I actually heard him talking about this on the Tim Ferriss podcast. And, um, I just wanted to kind of, you know, a couple hours after using it to 
get to a point where, you know, now I'm just working. I'm, I'm just getting a lot done now. I, after I did that, you know, I came downstairs and I made a little bit of breakfast, got some coffee, chilled out. And, uh, you know, I've been doing some video editing and, and recording a couple of videos and, and things like that. And so I just really hope that this video can help you guys out. And uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you've yet to do so already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for taking your time to watch and listen to what I have to say. Peace.